Welcome to PT Tutorials and this is Damini here again. Today with us has joined Miss Nipika and she will be introducing herself first of all. Please ma'am. Sure. Hi everyone. My name is Nitika Gerola. I am from Delhi and uh, have been uh, just associated with the PT tutorials for a few months now and uh, have had a fantastic experience with them. I'm a working professional. I'm working with Accenture, pursuing uh, PT to go for, uh, get my PR for Australia. Uh, want to move there with my little daughter. So that's what's brought me here. And today I'm pretty happy that I'm here. <laughs> At least I've cleared my paper and now I'm here now giving a testimonial. Amazing, ma'am. Thank you so much for that. You like, you know, beautiful introduction, which includes a little introduction to your personal life. too. So moving forward, like uh, the very first question, which is very useful. And it is, of course, a mandatory one. How are you feeling right now? I mean, what is the adrenaline rush? What are the hormones saying to you right now? Oh, something I, you know, I, I, I think I'm more relaxed now. No, before giving my exam, I was like really, really scared and uh, very anxious. And because uh, for the exam, you know, and I don't know, like, you know, it's uh, the, the kind of uh, the, you know, I've been on your uh, portal as well. And I was looking at people's scores as well, looking at, you know, how the scores are coming. And I saw people, you know, getting 90, 90, 90, and suddenly a 78, which just meant, you know, that poor thing just lost by one mark. So I was under the, you know, that, you know, if that happens to me, my main thing was that, you know, when I'm preparing so much, and now if I have to prepare again, how will I do it? And plus, you know, as, as a working professional, you know, we're always short of time. So as it is, you know, giving so much time already to this paper and now giving more time was another thing. But currently I'm more relaxed, very happy, to be honest. And uh, my daughter is equally happy about it that at least, uh, you know, we've gone through it. Wow. So that's it. Amazing. So I'll just uh, spare a second and introduce your score to the people who are going to watch this. Sure. So she has got 87 guys, which makes up to, in this thing, she has got 86, reading 81. Speaking 83 and guess what? She has got the perfect 90 in writing section. Yes, you heard me right. 90 in writing section because I feel that's my personal experience and that's what I've heard from other people who are pursuing it. Writing is a bit difficult. So how did you do this? I mean, how come a perfect 19 writing? I mean, what are the tips? I, uh, you know, to be honest, even I'm surprised to, to look at it that I've got a perfect 90 in writing. And uh, I think most of it, the credit goes to you guys. I use your template, to be honest, the one that uh, Sushma had given to me my uh, through the weekend coaching thing. So I use the template. Uh, you again uh, because you had given me so many uh, your exam memories had given me you know the the test so i did not write the, all those essays but for each and every essay that you had given at at least i had some points in my mind okay. so it helped me out that ways you know and I best was you know that. timing it through your mock test so that helped okay so let's uh, move forward to the next part so i have heard and i have uh, seen that you have taken weekend batches from sushma yes. so how do you help because i see you have been like you know busy really busy with your schedule so how did the weekend coaching help and how did sushma give you the experience about it so to be honest you know i got my skill assessment done somewhere in uh, first week of march and since that time, I was like trying to start with my PTE. And so you can understand. And I did my PT weekend coaching with her, I think, mid of May. So you can very well understand for two and a half months, I was just trying to you know, start my studies. And I wasn't getting it because I really did not have time sometimes. And, you know, towards the end of the day, I was very tired. Mornings, I have to send my daughter to school. So I really did not get time at all. So it's been such a busy, busy schedule. And weekends, you know, you have so much work to do at weekends that you really can't do it. So I was completely, you know, lost that how will I go and clear this PT? And then one of my friends, she had gone through your uh, one, your group coaching, you know, which is one hour per day kind of a thing. And she recommended, you know, so uh, that, you know, either you do a one day uh, thing with them or take out just two days and go for a weekend coaching. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided, you know, that one weekend I'll give it completely and let's try. And that's how I went into weekend coaching. 
Wow. And so, how did like did the Sushma's tips and tricks help you in Oh trust me anybody who has not got time like me or any working professional weekend coachings are the best and I think Sushma the way she has uh, taught me I think it is incredible the kind of tips you know see it's it, I'm not saying that Uh, you know as a professional obviously i know english but this test is not about english it's more about understanding how to give that test mm-hmm. so she really helped me out she gave the the exact tips and tricks that are required to clear the test for example the way i'm talking to you i i used to talk the same way but then in the exam this is not how we can talk you know yes. you have to exactly your mouth has to be opened properly so she gave the exact way to do it and you know that really helped so i think the tips that i got from sushma and my one to one messages to her that you know how to do this how to do that i think that really helped and uh, sushma has been supportive for the entire month when she has like post my exam, like weekend coaching as well that was just for two days post that also i've been you know bothering her with my questions and she's been really sweet to help me out she's never said no to anything or she hasn't even delayed for that matter if i say you know that i asked a question on one day and the next day i'm getting a reply not even that probably within few minutes i was getting answers from her which really helped me out so i think i, I can say that my entire uh, this the credit of me passing i can i think it's it's completely to sushma right now because the way she's helped me out is you really have, good uh, after seeing this video sushma will be on the peak of humanity <laughs> no no i'm sure you know the way she's been doing it and trust me not only that i have uh, seen on your pt uh, the i'm 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 connected on the pt telegram group as well so i have seen all your uh, you know mentors that are there they have been so active be it shruti be it alina be it just sushma herself they've been responding to questions so well to everyone and it's not just one person or anyone they and they even you know uh, start off uh, some game or the other to you know encourage people to join so which is excellent i think it's the best way to you know engage people get them to do things so i i'm i'm really a fan of your uh, that group completely to be honest i'm glad and just to like you know bring it in the picture we have been working on it constantly and We are almost a family of thirteen thousand people and plus. Yeah, absolutely. I'm more than happy than when the ideas collide. Yeah. Different people from different different perspectives. In one or the other way, it helps the person who's a part of that group. Absolutely. So I am more than happy that our mentors like Alina, Shruti, Shushma, all of them could help you out in achieving what you have today. Because eighty-seven and a perfect ninety in writing is a difficult thing. I mean, it is a little more easier than the other sections, but reading and writing, I feel, it has to be to the point to get the marks. Absolutely, I completely agree. So, uh, moving forward, you also mentioned about the exam memories. So, just wanted to ask that whether the exam memories, which were recently made, like June prediction yeah. file exam memories, were they helpful for you? Oh, very much. To be honest, uh, again, you know, uh, you've got like. a plethora of uh, you know uh, things that are there on your website so much material is there so many sample questions so many things are there that if a person even starts from one end he will not, he will just like drown in those that thing so you know even for me also it was getting very difficult and I, as i told you you know i really did not have that much time so again sushma helped me out so i i told sushma i said sushma that too many things on your website you told me to go to your website there's too many things i can't be going through everything i don't have that much time so she said okay what you do is just forget everything just pick up the prediction file work on it so when we had this discussion that was in may at that time may this may prediction file was there and that is the time when i went for a vacation for a week so obviously that prediction file went for a toss so when i came back i asked her again so she said okay june file is out pick up the june file and honestly 5 days just the june file is what i've done the last 5 days yes and that is what has got me the score and i'm and i'm being very honest right now uh, you know 5 days of june prediction file giving four two mock test of yours and two of that pt practice they have like given me the whatever i've done this is what i've done to be honest i am i am like right now i am on the peak of the mountain and <laughs> very uh, like you know very humbled and i'm i can't i'm like i'm overwhelmed because you've been constantly mentioning about the protection file and yeah. so 
I'm very thankful and I'm glad that we could help you in such a manner that you got the score you desired. I think more, the more you expected, the more yeah. you got. So I'm more than happy for it. But as everybody has said, it's not just about us. It's a lot about you because as an individual, you have put in efforts. Yeah. Although you were so busy and the time constraints were there, how did you like manage it? I mean, there is a lot more about motivation because you constantly mentioned that time was the one which I could not devote to yeah. my motivation. So what was the motivation which kept you pushing every day that no, weekend this day is reserved for my coaching? Yeah. So, you know, uh, the biggest motivation was that I have to apply for my PR and yeah. that I'm doing for my daughter you know, because I really want to move out with her from here. So, you know, that was the motivation factor. And I knew that till the time I do not clear this exam, I will not get what I need. The, my, at least my scores will not come over, you know, because this is what is in my hand. After this, it's all the luck that starts playing. This is what I can do for myself to, you know, get the PR. After that, it's all luck, you know, whether I'll get the invite or not and all those things. But this was one motivation factor. But then most important was that, you know, because uh, you guys had helped me out to chart out my plan completely, you know, what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. So once you know the tips and tricks, you know what you need to work on, you know, it's just a little push that you need, you know, you do that push and you'll be, you know, clearing that path. So that's what I did, you know. So I decided, you know, for the last five, seven days, I just said, you know, okay, enough of it I have to give my exam so I started you know that you know I was dedicating at least my four five hours every day to study and it was like non-stop I was just studying I was keeping ensuring that you know my work I used to finish my work very quickly uh, ensuring no, nothing and thankfully it's my daughter's uh, uh, summer vacations also going on so I really don't have to bother yeah. about her <laughs> yeah so I'm rela much more relaxed so that helped me out as well that's a bunch of motivation. I mean, people are going to need this because I feel that uh, being consistent in something is like what needs the maximum efforts. Like if I yeah. start today, it has to it has to be consistent for a few more days and until yeah. I do what I want. And towards the last part, so you have been like you know constantly into the corporate world and you have been uh, a native speaker, if we can say. But how did it help you in the examination hall? I mean, because it's totally opposed to what you are in regular life and then exactly. what you put in the examination hall, the pressure, like everybody's trying to be clear with their words and everybody's loud. So how did you manage in the examination hall? So examination hall is totally a different ball game, And this is something this, you know, that we should be telling everyone who goes there and especially when the speaking section starts, yes. my God, it was like you're sitting in a fish market and there you have to, you know, maintain yourself completely calm, poised and also speak at the same time. So, uh, you know, I really don't know how I did it, but I just did it. <laughs> but I think uh, that was one part which was, which was the most difficult, you know, uh, to be honest, because I had people who were like shouting on top of their voice in the room and you can't do anything because you have, because the moment you, you know, if you get distracted, you're out completely. Right. It's a timed exam. So it was, it was difficult. So I think it's a tip for everyone that, you know, especially for your speaking section, try doing your speaking section sometimes when you have all your friends sitting around you. And then you know, so that, you know, even though there's so much of distraction, you still are call, able to concentrate. Yeah. So like people generally practice with their earphones uh, and in a silent room, in a silent environment. Yeah. Uh, you should practice, practice in a chaotic environment. So absolutely. 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 You know, speaking. And this is what even I had done. I was uh, putting on my headphones, ensuring no one is at in the room. And then I was practicing. And I shouldn't have done that, you know, if probably because the moment it started off, I was like, what is happening and but then I had to like you know pull myself back because yeah, it's it's a timed uh, thing you know three seconds if I don't speak the mic would be off oh, yes. so you know that you so. the only thing you have in control is yourself right absolutely there, that so be calm poised do not uh, you know do not do not get distracted especially during the exam it, it's just like your 10th or a 12th exam because you have to write so much and you know you just have whoever is cheating let them cheat let them, let them do whatever but just be concentrating on your paper yeah, okay. it was just the same way 
thank you so much this means a lot and i'm very sure i'm like dead sure 110% that this testimonial is going to help people out there to understand the real scenarios which actually happen in day to day life and absolutely the examination because i feel a lot of people just they do so much but then they lose their confidence and that is the most important part i feel that one is not supposed to lose the self worth and the self confidence absolutely you know and i'll just give one more last thing you know it it happened with me as well you know when i was doing my repeat sentences uh, during the exam there was one sentence which i missed out you know completely you know when when the uh, so i could just grab half of the sentence and half of the sentence i was completely blank so it it i actually felt you know oh god i you know now it's gone but the the second moment with within the next second i was like no my entire exam is left i can't just you know leave myself so you know if you make a mistake you know just pick up yourself from there itself and start in the next moment itself you have to be confident back because the moment you lose it i think i would have lost the entire paper then yes like once uh, you are below the steps you just yeah. cannot raise it back so you have to keep on walking and walking and walking absolutely so that is there anything like you know an open ended suggestion which you want to give to the people out there no no i think i would just like to say to sushma sushma thank you so much for whatever you've done to me i think that weekend session helped me so much that i am sitting over here and giving your testimonial over here on the pt tutorials but seriously i think uh, it's it's completely thanks to you that you've helped me so much and thanks to the entire group of yours you know for you to make those uh, exam memories because you know and for people yes it i did get paper, uh, uh, questions from the exam memory so it's not that you know those are just questions but yes i got questions from there which helped me out so you, you know done to me basically i've been practicing it and i'm really happy that it could help somebody in role because at the end of the day we just need that the one we are serving for yeah no no seriously you guys are doing pretty good job yeah i'm i'm really helpful on that way thank you so much thank you so much for joining us today and sparing the time and giving us the testimonial i guess this is going to help people out more in you know understanding what basically pte is and why it is important to Absolutely. give a little more time and a little more investment in it because the little amount you invest you get a bunch of things and you have to just start managing with it so I'm absolutely more- absolutely you know and i and this is you know because i have seen people you know give Uh, failing once twice thrice and then coming over here because in pt tutorials and then going through it. i think you know people think that they they'll be able to do it but without tips and tricks it's not possible so you know you people should definitely join some group coaching weekend coaching or one to one coaching whatever is helpful to them you know they should definitely do it otherwise you know it's 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 about you know you and me everyone knows english but this test, test is not about english it's it's about the strategy that you make for the test so right. till the time you don't know the strategy you can't clear this test yeah and it's like that uh, rather than investing like four to five times in the amount which is there exactly if you just put it in the one go and clear it in the second one it is we are done there you are absolutely part of the course and you are happily giving the exams like it is a one time investment which has yeah. 110% returns so Absolutely. more and more people with this video will understand that it is better to invest wisely once rather than investing every third completely third. agreed that loop because that loop give uh, like you know puts you in a financial constraint and Absolutely that was one of my concern as well that you know if if i you know i was like you know first i thought yeah that you know let me try giving the exam first myself and in case if i fail then i will you know go for coaching or anything the even i you know, it's it's a it's a simple you know mentality everyone has got you know but then you know uh, my friend that i told you about you know she said you know nitika make sure that you know you go for a coaching session trust me it's going to help you and, and you know the first thing when i got my exam today like my result came at 6 am in the morning today so the first thing i did was i called her up i said you know it's thanks to you as well because if you would have not told me to do the coaching this i, I would not have invested twice in it i guess yeah. seriously i would have done that and the, let's forget about the financial thing it's more about that 
the time which is exactly which is for you like it exactly is you know so uh, that's what i'm saying you know it's uh, for me as i just i just told you two and a half months i didn't do anything after my skill assessment came and it's only from i think mid of may to like now june is what i've prepared so far and here i am with my result and your result 87 is the most amazing score so far because i feel the balance is important rather than yeah. if you achieve 90 and if you still do not have the balance in the sections yeah is not that help, helpful but you you got the balance 86 81 83 90 so it's like in a row to a yeah. <laughs> yeah true so will uh, every good thing has to come at an end and unfortunately this conversation although it was very beautiful and interesting it has to come at an end so basically congratulations once again for the score you have achieved congratulations for the pr you're going to get and uh, uh, like you know from the entire pt tutorials team please congratulate your daughter on behalf of all the efforts the mother has made and over here it's not just PT is just not an exam. It is a full and immense amount of emotions. I feel that once it is achieved, it absolutely. is absolutely. It's it's an it's an emotional thing to be honest. It is an emotional thing. So yeah. I'm more than happy to share the screen with you, and I'll surely see you once again very soon. Sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I'll just spare a minute to address it to the people who are going to watch. Sure. This. No problem. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. And as you have seen, what is important. in pte is your practice and your consistency and the strategies although she knows english even i know english but it is difficult for us in the beginning to understand the strategies and do not forget uh, we are going to launch the prediction file soon for the month of july so do download it do utilize it there is a lot an immense amount of material which is available on the website without any cost so if you feel that you have certain kind of problems you can just keep on practicing there is mobile application there is telegram there is youtube there is instagram just go on the portals and you will see yourself practicing in it thank you so much once again and see you soon ma'am sure thank you so much see you bye 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 bye